Hi, I'm Kelly. And I'm Lawrence. And on today's episode, we'll be focusing on the barbed wire crawl. Just guys, remember, on this barbed wire crawl, smooth is fast. You just gotta take it easy. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So we'll start with some mobility first to prepare for the barbed wire crawl. The first thing Lawrence is gonna do is a dead bug. So he'll lay flat on his back. Oh. Starting with both arms straight in the air, both legs straight in the air. And then we alternate arm and legs down just as a dead bug is on its back. This is the idea for this. We're gonna do 10 reps on each side of these. This is the dead bug. Once we do 10 reps of that, Lawrence is gonna flip over. <sighs> hands on the ground, knees on the ground, core tight, back flat. And he's gonna lift his right arm and his left leg out. These are called quad diagonals. We'll do 10 on the right. Hold and 10 for, on the left. You want to hold, hold it. it for about three seconds at the top. Really focusing on that core. Awesome. Try and extend that leg as straight as you can out. And also that opposing arm. 10 right, 10 left. Perfect. So from the quad diagonals, now we're going to move into bear crawl strict for 10 meters. So Lawrence is going to go into his tabletop position, go into that bear plank, lifting his knees off the ground, abs engaged tight. And for 10 meters, it's a strict bear crawl. We're not focusing on speed right now. We just want to focus on form. Lawrence is in a bear crawl for 10 meters. Now remember, meters. you don't want to bring your knees up off the ground from here. You want to keep your knees only about an inch to an inch half off the ground. My back is still flat, so don't round it. Strict crawls for 10 meters. Perfect. So 10 meters strict bear crawl. Once again, not focusing on speed. Really focus here on form and come back. 10 meters total. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Maintaining that flat right. back. And once we complete this, we'll work on more mobility. Lawrence will lay flat on his stomach and we'll roll towards the left for 10 meters. And Lawrence, talk about the form and what the importance <laughs> is of this. You know, this is just about control. Really using that core strengthening. Just rolling and having fun. There's nothing really too crazy about this. This is all your core. Rolling back. Playing, being a kid again. So he's rolling 10 meters to the right and then come back rolling 10 meters to the left. So you want to do it on the right and then on the left as well. The final thing we'll do is a bear crawl plank. This time we're doing for we're going for speed. Still so the first one form, was though. to focus on the form. Now we keep the form and we add the velocity to it. So let's go 10 meter bear crawl for speed here. Still maintaining my form, just now doing it faster. Perfect. Notice my strides didn't get any wider. I was trying to go faster. It's still strict. I just picked up my pace. My tempo was a little bit faster on that one. Yep. All right. And our final move in this part is 30. Burpee sled we pushes. We 30 burpees to a sled push. Now this is gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna feel this one. But no, after you finish your 30 burpee sled pushes, you're going right back into those dead bugs. That's where your recovery is gonna happen. So here we go. Push it off, pop down, pop up, one. push. So it's one push, one burpee. Notice as he comes up from the burpee, you go right into the push. It's one move. Keep it fluid, back to back. Once you do 30 of these, you go right back to the beginning, which are those 10 dead bugs. Perfect. Now Lawrence, go back. Bugs. So that would be one round. We go right back into another circuit. First, we go for our dead bugs 10 times. Perfect. From those, we go to 10 quad diagonals. Maintain that form no matter what. Now the challenge here, like I said, as you come out of those burpee sled pushes, you're gonna be tired. You're gonna feel a little fatigued. Your challenge is, while you're doing these nice little movements right here, to bring your heart rate down naturally here. You're going to be okay. 
From here, we go right back into that bear crawl strict for 10 meters. Remember, the first one is not for speed. This one is for form, strict with your form, okay? Perfect. Then we roll right for 10 meters. We'll roll back left for 10 meters. We'll do our bear crawl plank for speed. And then you're right back here. Oh, 30, my God. one burpee to a sled push 30 times. You repeat this entire circuit three times. Good. All right, those burpee sled pushes. Perfect. I like that, you're gonna love it. We're at part two of our barbed wire crawl episode. Now focus on strength and endurance. We're gonna use Jacob's ladder. Lawrence is going to get on Jacob's ladder and we're gonna do an interval of 60 seconds on. 60 seconds with on. With 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna repeat this for five minutes. Now, if this is your first time getting on a Jacob's ladder, just know that you need to adjust the belt to your height right here. Simple, it's got it in centimeters and in feet. So adjust it to your actual Perfect. height. So whenever you climb up, it tricks the mechanism to allow the, the ladder to start moving. Got All right? It. So you want it on your true height. So the higher you climb on this bad boy, the faster it's gonna start to go. If I wanna slow it down, I just move further down back towards the bottom. Yes, right? and this one has a timer on it, but I'm also keeping time. Lawrence is gonna do this for 60 seconds. Every time he gives me 60 seconds of work on Jacob's ladder, we finish with 20 seconds of rest. It's a very okay. simple hand over hand technique, driving through your legs. You're basically using your hands for the balance. Your legs are doing most of the work. Good, Lawrence, you have 20 more seconds. Those final 10, 15, 15 seconds, you always want to finish Last the best 10 you seconds. possibly can. Three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds of rest five. here, then we'll repeat again. We do this for five minutes. Mm -hmm. So you complete it total four times. Four times, 60 seconds on, 20 seconds off, Jacob's Ladder. And now we'll move to another location to complete the rest of our workout and our episode of More Burpees. More Burpees. We're in the last series of exercises for this episode. Lawrence has two things he's gonna do. The first are muscle ups. We're gonna use the TRX straps. Lawrence is going to grab the handles of the straps, sit on the ground with his chest up, his shoulders relaxed down, and we're gonna use power as we push through and up. All right? This is a full body exercise. We're using agility here. We're using power and then control on the way down. Lawrence is gonna do 10 muscle ups. Now notice I'm not resting on my butt. I'm just letting it tap and going right back up. Sorry. Yes. Yes, and then at the 10th muscle up, Lawrence, one more. Perfect, we're gonna let these straps go and he's gonna give me a 10 meter gorilla charge. Perfect, and at that, we're gonna rest and we're gonna repeat. We do this five times total. So you get your heart rate up. 10 muscle ups. 10 muscle ups. Good, rest, 30 meter gorilla charge. So this is the second round. We do this five times total. Once again, we do 10 muscle ups, and then we'll complete it with a 30 meter gorilla charge. Once Lauren completes five rounds of that, he's done and he's ready for the cool down. So he's gonna show a few static stretches of a great way to cool down. Just reach up, keep our shoulder width apart, just reach up nice and tall, take a big deep breath in, put your biceps by your ears, lift and pull your rib cage apart. Go ahead and grab that left wrist, pull yourself to the right. You wanna hold each of these stretches for 10 to 15 seconds. So make sure you're taking your time. Once again, 
that big intensity part of the workout, of the race is over, this is where you bring your body back to a steady state. So focusing on your breath to drop your heart rate and just giving those muscles a proper cool down. Bring the left arm across your chest. Pull that in nice and tight. Shoulders are probably gonna be a little stiff, stiff a little sore. So let's stretch those bad boys out. Focus on that breathing. Switch it up. Awesome. So while you're doing these stretches too, all the while the main focus for this is gonna be the breath, okay? Big inhales through your nose and exhale out. Really avoid kind of rushing the process. Take your time, focus on controlling your heart rate through your breathing while you bring your muscles back to a state of calm and chill. A nice, another little stretch I like. Just take your left foot, step it over your right. Get nice and deep into that stretch and then you're just gonna Twist your shoulders towards the light, to, towards the left. It should be your back right foot that you're twisting towards. You're gonna feel that stretch go a little deeper into your glutes, into that lower back, into your hamstring. And then you just slowly unwind, reset. Take that right foot, step it over your left. Get nice and deep into that stretch first. And then you're gonna wind your body towards the right. And where do you feel right. this? I, again, I feel it in my lower back, my lower left side of my back. Feel it nice in my glutes behind my knees and into my hamstrings. Awesome, awesome. Feels great. Perfect. Step those legs nice and wide. Just give them a couple more stretch, stretches here. Reach down. Place your hands on the ground behind you. Get nice and deep in that stretch. Relax in that neck. It should fall naturally between your shoulder blades. Then go ahead and walk yourself over that left foot. Bring your right hand on the outside of that left toe. Rotate your body. Point those left fingertips towards the ceiling. Have a nice reach in there, really stretch out that back. You feel it go into those hamstrings. Slowly so these are all there. options for stretches. Don't feel as if you have to do one or the other. We just want to give the body proper time to cool down. So just make sure you're doing stretches that really target most of the major muscle groups and stay in them for 10 to 15 seconds. And that will complete the end of this episode.